Lifting family, welcome back. So, kicking it off with another review, and as far as this one goes, we're looking at the Primula Cold Brew Coffee Maker. So, I am a huge fan of caffeine, so that's something that right now, with everything that's going on, I mean, I could order some Monster from, from Amazon and have that come here, but part of the problem with energy drinks for me is that they, they cause a little bit of bloat, and then I end up just drinking more than I need to because there's a decent supply on hand and for some reason that's just something that I ended up doing. So I decided that coffee, in terms of cold brew, that's something that I really enjoy. So I wanted to try one of these cold brew coffee makers out. I was looking at some French presses and then I just decided that I, I would pick up this one and see how it goes and see how it tastes. So let's get this one opened up. So it says, for best results, use fresh roasted coarsely ground coffee. The carafe is designed to hold 40 ounces of water and 16 tablespoons of coffee with the fill with the brew filter in place. It's opened up. Okay, so it says it holds 16 tablespoons of coffee. Add in all right we're gonna back this off we're gonna go about halfway unfortunately as far as the, the directions go there's not really a lot of like exact detail or an exact science is going on here we are going to reduce this by about half that is about half Now we need to slowly pour two cups of water in. And that's probably not slowly. Fill the rest. So I'm just gonna go just below the silver. Like I said, I've never made cold brew before, but I like cold brew. I think what I'm actually going to do so that the water stays level with the coffee grounds, I think that for max extraction, that'll have the, the most contact with it. That way there's not too much water in there. And then it's an, it ends up where it's the, the water is sitting above the coffee. So it's it's kind of infusing itself and it's it's kind of working, but I, I want it to stay at the level that the, that the water is at. So the coffee grounds are going to be at the same level as the water that's inside. I'm going to assume that this is obviously just going to get darker and that's that's part of it where you can really just extract all that flavor out of there. So right now it's it's looking like it's about the color of, of tea, what tea would look like. So we're going to put the top back on. And there we go, lock it in place. Now on the top there are two lines where you can actually line up the, the lid with the, the inner lid of this carafe. Hopefully I'm saying that right, otherwise I'm going to be irritating a lot of people. And then as far as the coffee that I use, I just went with some average brand that I could find on Amazon. So this was Cameron Specialty Coffee, coffee and it's the Kona Blend. Alright, so I'm going to put this one in the fridge for the next, uh, well, supposed to be in there for 24 hours. So hopefully I can last for 24 hours. It's about eight o'clock at night when I'm making this. So we'll see what it is for tomorrow. Lifting family, it is time to test out the cold brew. So it's a little bit of a darker shade of the iced tea. So it didn't get like super, super dark. And I, as I was reading last night, it sounds like when you make cold brew, you are supposed to use twice the amount of coffee that you would for how you'd normally brew coffee in a, in a coffee pot. So yes, yeah, it's looking like iced tea. I mean, it's got a good smell to it, so my whole plan was not super well thought out. We are at past the 24 hour mark. It's actually nine o'clock tonight, so I drink my iced tea coffee. It's got a really good smell to it. 
It's a, just a very light coffee. But overall, I mean, I'd say that I'm, I'm impressed. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't super, super difficult to use. The problem is, is that it just doesn't really give the ratios that you find online. So I think that that would be really, really helpful. Is that I, I had actually seen where you want to use, it was one ounce per cup of water, I believe it was. That I'm going to give a try next to. But outside of that, I would say that as far as just overall look, feel, design, layout, simplicity, I'd give this one a four out of five stars. I mean, I do like it. It is pretty compact. There's not a lot to it. So here I was trying to brew the perfect cup of cold brew. I followed the instructions as far as the, the perfect cup and now I don't really like this setup because what ends up happening is the little filter inside doesn't fully submerge into, into the solution. And so all of the grounds aren't able to have contact with the amount of water that's in there. So when this, when the inside filter is full, the water sits to about here as far as like what is the ideal ratio. And again, I had seen that it was one ounce of, one ounce of coffee grounds to one cup of, of water. So that ended up being three ounces, I almost filled it all the way up. And then when I set it in, it was only filled up to about here. So not a lot of contact, especially since a lot of the bottom portion of that filter inside of there is actually just a mesh. And, or excuse me, it's actually just plastic. So what I did, now you gotta do this carefully. I set that inside of there, right like that. So granted, I did add a little bit more water as well. The moment that I started to brew this perfect cup of coffee, then all of a sudden I realized that most of the grounds were gonna make contact with the actual coffee that was being brewed. I got frustrated. So basically the way that this amounts to is the coffee grounds are sitting about an inch above the water right here. So not a perfect science that I found. I will have to remeasure that later, but as far as the perfect workaround to make this thing work, and I will use this in the future, I don't know that I will give it the original four stars that I gave because I probably would go with some sort of a different setup. I do actually like that mesh, that mesh filter on the inside though because that will allow me to use it for my other idea that I have as far as bringing a perfect cup of cold brew. So until then, like, comment, subscribe, like this video if you like content like this, comment down below if you have any questions or you thought I was crazy when I was first brewing this. Do remember to hit that subscribe button, I do appreciate all the subscriptions that have been going up. Outside of that, thank you for watching and keep brewing.